Brad Williams, XL Prime. How to classify values? Here we have groups. We have an age group, and what we want to do is we want to put them in buckets. We can do that. We have this data series here, name, birthday, age. If we want to put these in silos or, or buckets, we have to build the buckets ourselves. Here we have an age group, we have an age range, and then we have a group range. We have a, a starting point, and then we have an ending point. The ending point would be 12 with a new entry point at 21. 12 to 20 is the first group, 21 to 40. And you always want to increment to the next number when you want to break that range. In order to classify this group over here on the left, the group here, we're going to use a VLOOKUP. So we're going to look up the age and then the range, which is this group table. See group table, H5 to I2, I8. Let's check to make sure group table. So the group table is correct. It's just the group table typed was correct. So look at the VLOOKUP group table. And if you don't remember VLOOKUP, lookup value is D5. The table array would be the group table, which is H5 to I8. The column, what are we looking for? From our starting point, which is where? Right here, H, so we got one and two. We want our answer to fit into this age group. We got column one and column two. You just go column two, and then range lookup, that's optional. We just default it to true. We just go here, person is 67 years old. You can look at this age parameter, what group, 61. If you have somebody's 30, you look at the age parameter over here and then look over to the right and 30 would go in the 21 to 40 group and so on and so forth. That's what a, the VLOOKUP will do. The XLOOKUP can also do the same thing. I just wanted to throw a quick VLOOKUP at you for review. If you are curious as to the flow here, D5, we have D5, we have group table. You see where the group table is in red here. We have two, which would be group. And then true, remember true here is an approximate match. Why do we use an approximate match? Because we're in a range. When we're in a range, there's a 20 age difference here. So we get it as close as possible. That's why we use approximate match or true. If you wanna dig into the formula evaluation, we want to go back into the group where we have the function. We can hit table array, hit F9. Here's our table array, 1220, and it shows the group. It says 12, 1220, 21, 2140, 4140. D5, what's the lookup value? F9 should be 67, 66.70. Basically, V lookup is going to say, all right, where does 66.7 fit within the buckets? It's going to go 40 to 60, then 61. Anything over 6, it will default to the 61 bucket. Brad Williams, XL Prime.